guys welcome back to my channel I just wanted to give you a few um, bits of information uh, first of all you know these are general readings so they're not going to resonate with everyone um, I'm hoping to reach as many people you know as I can that need to hear messages because some people need to hear messages sometimes more than others and then you know the next you know round of readings may resonate with somebody else that it didn't resonate with you know this time so just keep that in mind but if you guys need a personal reading um, then you can you know email me at all for one dot one for all seven four at gmail dot com um, the, num the number four you know not written out but um, I'm not sure if I put that I think that's in the link in the description box below as well um, if you're unsure about it and I'm also offering um, from now until the 23rd of November um, $40 readings if you are interested in a personal reading um, the the prices usually vary but you know all that information is on my website which is also that link is listed down below in the description box as well um, now coming is going to be what what I call the nitty-gritty and it's of course a love reading between you and your ex and basically it I pull energies for you and I pull energies for your ex which involves your you know what you are consciously thinking about what's actually going on in the situation what's in your subconscious like what is actually like affecting the situation currently and in that reading as well I also um, you know if I need to pull some clarifiers I will in that reading that I offer um, through my website let's see and um, also there'll be um, like the blockage between the two of you what is the best course of action that you can take and then what is the best possible outcome you know if those actions are actually put in place okay now just to be clear um, you know we all have the power of free will so the best course of action and the best possible outcome is just that that's the best action that you can take and that's the possible outcome but we all can choose to do different things regardless of the advice I know I've watched readings and you know I'll hear the advice and then it's like I may not even do that because you know you you know what's what's significant and personal for you so just keep that in mind um, if you choose to go watch the nitty-gritty um, and that will be $6.99 to purchase um, that reading okay and it's gonna be a total of the basic cards like I pull I pull from one deck for um, your partner or your love interest and it's a total of nine cards on their side as well as nine cards on your side and then there's an additional six cards for two for the blockage two for the um, best course of action and then two for the possible outcome okay and any additional clarifiers that I feel um, you know need to be pulled from a completely uh, total and separate debt okay you guys and I think that oh in order to watch the nitty-gritty um, you guys will need to have a PayPal account and PayPal you know anybody can have a PayPal account so you will need that in order to watch it to purchase that rating okay all right you guys so we'll go ahead and jump right into this hey guys this is your love reading for November your monthly and this is gonna be for Leo Sun Moon Rising Venus and Jupiter signs I'm gonna pull energy for you guys as well as a person that um, that you're thinking about okay we'll go ahead and get started here 
please hit that like button, share, and subscribe to my channel. That would be greatly appreciated. And I want to thank you guys for, for coming. Let's see what's going on for Leo for November 2018. What's going on for Leo? Being the emperor, are we? <laughs> Could also be an Aries, another fire sign that you're dealing with. But the emperor is somebody that is, you know, <laughs> they stand their ground. Like, they know what it is that they will do, what they want to do, and they won't be persuaded from that. Okay? Um, the emperor rules. And um, not saying that you know, the emperor is um, abrasive or controlling, but that is the flip side of the emperor. You know, it can be. So we'll see what's going on here. We have justice, balancing the scales, balancing karma, seven of swords, walking away, knight of wands, very in and out. Um, Hmm. Page of Pentacles. Four of Cups. And the Star. Just as this Libra energy, Seven of Swords, is um, Aquarius, and we have the Star card down here, which is also Aquarius, and then we have um, Cancer, Earth energy, and um, Fire here. I see two different scenarios here. We'll just talk about the first one first. I see this person walking away from a situation. And I don't think that they did it um, let me say this first. The energies can go vice versa. So if this side is not you and it's the other person, then you know more than likely the other side that I pull um, for the person that you're thinking about you know, may be your energy. But what I'm picking up strongly here is that somebody left this situation. They snuck out of it. And I don't feel like it was fair. And I feel like is this situation is needing to be revisited. Um, and somebody, and they know that. I feel like they know that, um, but they haven't made the decision to come in and try to rectify the situation. Um, and not even to like reconcile, but maybe to just reconcile differences. So, you know, um, if there was something really, you know, unfair that went on here, um, they're, they're almost refusing to at this point. I feel like. This person is, is, um. It's stubborn, um, and I feel like somebody here 
it's like in the shadows, like looking at the situation, knowing what they did, and basically like hiding their hands, like throwing a stone and, you know, hiding your hands kind of thing when you know you've done wrong, but you, you, you want to act like or they want to act like, you know, they've done nothing and almost want to try to make, you know, the other person feel like they've done nothing wrong. It's almost like manipulation. Um, and I feel like that's probably what this Seven of Swords is is screaming to me. It's like um, there was there was some manipulation going on here. I also feel like this person didn't see the situation for what it was and they were looking for something that they already had, if that makes sense. like. Like, like they maybe thought the grass was greener on the other side, but I feel like now they're realizing, no, the grass was green where I had it, where I left. And that's how I feel with this, with this energy here. I also feel like, you know, another scenario is what I'm getting here is that somebody left physically initially and somebody else left emotionally like really decided to walk away and is no longer you know concentrating on what happened here and it's really just trying to heal and then for others of you there's somebody looking for their life partner And what I mean by that is like somebody's really, really looking at somebody's really, really looking at this person as like they are their everything, like everything that they could hope for in a person, in a mate here. Let's see what's going on for the person that that Leo is dealing with. What's going on for the person that Leo is dealing with? He's thinking about do fan shuffle. What's going on with Leo's love interest? Somebody's looking, they're just not saying anything right now. Three of Swords in the bottom of the deck. Let's see what's going on here. Knight of Swords. Hmm. Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles over here as well. Four of Swords. The High Priestess. Eight of Wands. Judgment. Mm.
somebody's wanting to come in. Wanting to revive this relationship. Is what I see. Somebody has some powerful intuition is what I also feel. We have air sign here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Scorpio, I feel. I feel like somebody here is just, they really don't know what to do. Like they know, I take that back. They know what to do. They're just having a hard time actually like putting action to it. Um, they really want to come in and and say something to you, but because that their intuition their intuition I feel like is on point. I feel like their intuition is on point, but they're not budging. And I feel like they're not waiting for, um, they're not waiting for an offer. It's just the way I feel. I feel like they're almost on guard. Like, you know, they have put the situation to arrest but they're also on guard if if somebody approaches in a manner that you know they don't feel like it's just that they're ready to just like come in swinging a sword and i don't see a whole lot of fire energy going on here um, Leo other than the eight of wands and the knight of wands which is like um, you know Sagittarius for me but this person is very on guard um, very guarded um, I feel like they are very They, they are very woke. <laughs> I mean, that's like the best way I can put it. Um, because judgment, judgment, when I look at the judgment card, like somebody had sounded the alarm. This person is very, very aware very intuitive and they receive messages like I feel like very kind of um, very psychic energy here is what I feel and they know what to do how to respond at this point I don't know if they were um, like that before, but I feel like, you know, anything that they offer is not going to be overboard. Like, I feel like if you give some, they'll give some. And they probably were somebody, was somebody that, um, you know, probably gave too much in the past. But I feel like this relationship with justice over here on this side, and then we have judgment down here. I 
I feel like this could be a rebirth for sure of this relationship. myself here. Yeah, I feel like there could be a rebirth of this relationship here. Um, but I feel like there is um, there's some truths that need to be spoken. There's a conversation that needs to be had. It needs to be had. Um, But with the night energy here, it's fast moving energy and sometimes it can be a little impulsive. So, um, definitely some real spiritual um, energy going on up in here. You guys. Okay, so that is what I have for you, Leo, for the month of November. And um, I feel like whoever this is over here is going to have to make the move. I don't know if, if that will happen <laughs> because with the four of cups here is, you know, very stable, you know, energy, like basically feeling comfortable and not doing anything at all basically and so is a four of swords over here um but the high priestess doesn't move she doesn't she's not an active energy she just knows she knows what it is that she should do um and i feel like she, you know she receives messages whoever this you know, person is over here. And I feel like, you know, there's some healing going on over here. So, I don't know, you guys. We'll see how this, this energy goes um, next month. And then it's, you know, Venus retrograde. So, it's like, I don't know. I've been feeling... I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of heavy. And it's not heavy for all, but yeah. Okay, guys. Well, I will see you later. Talk to you later. And um, be blessed and rest and, you know, just keep your wits about you. Try to keep your energy stable and grounded into yourself. And, um, you know, be careful with your words. <laughs>